Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Saturday, which means it's time for more Psychopath. So, in the last episode, we kind of just got like, it was more just like uh, giving us an idea of how the Psychopath cinematic, <laughs> the Psychopath cinematic universe works. I'm sticking with that. Um, like, you know, gives like a background on kind of like how the world's working, uh, what the Dominator does, how the Psychopath kind of, sort of, technically works, and kind of gives us a decent idea into, like, what kind of, what kind of world they're living in. And I'm a big stoop because I completely miss the fact that th this Sybil thing, like, it's very clearly, like, some form of artificial intelligence. Like, it's, like, it's, a, it's a computer. And it's the thing that determines who is guilty and who is not. And it, it's, it's, a techno it's a technocratic dictatorship. It's a tech, yeah, it's a technocratic dictatorship, which means, of course, it's going to be fascist, fascist in, uh, in usage, and I'm using fascist, not the New Age bullshit, I mean, like, the actual, the actual real shit that Benito Mussolini fucking came up with, that definition, as in, it's basically communism, but with the, with the, with, with the veneer of, of private property, that's, that's the one, that's the version of that I'm using, um, and that's really interesting, because you don't see that a ton anymore. That one's kind of actually gone out the window, because everybody is too busy, you know, jumping on, like... Like, oh, it's the commies! Oh, it's the Nazis! No one's really going with, like... Like, uh, oh, it's it's the supercomputers taking over, it's the Y2K! You don't really see that much anymore, and I am actually interested in whether... Uh, on how this is gonna go. Um, one thing I didn't know, that I got told in the comments, and thank you for that, is that uh, this was written by the same guy who made uh, Madoka Maguka. So, with how Madoka ends, I get the feeling that this probably is not going to turn into them going row row fight the power, more like citizen pick up that soda can or I'm going to blow your fucking head off. Oh wait, you put, it, that's, you put that into the trash instead of the recycling, so yeah, no, off comes your fucking head, mate. <laughs> like, Oh no, we're gonna have some fun with this, ain't we? But let's see how this goes, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Oh. That always fucks me because I never. Ah, oh, God, I'm doing it again. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm excited. It's very excited. You told, please do not demonetize me for the sways. I'll stop it from here on out. God, come on. Oh no. Oh yeah, also, like, protagonist Chan, whose name I've forgotten. Uh... She, she shot a guy she, that was on her team. And, uh, you know... Kinda did a dereliction of duty on that one. Kinda goofed it a little bit. What? Oh my god, this is the stupid waifu alarm clock that was going around a while ago, isn't it? The one that's got a waifu in it that texts you if you're late back from home. Back from work. Oh my god, they actually- that's actually- that's actually what that is. Oh no! I- I made an independent thought! I'm not supposed to do that, oh no! I just need to drink my Ovaltine and just not think about it anymore! Oh god, no! Oh... I'm curious as to how this is gonna go. If this is being written by the Madoka guy, then... It's not gonna end well. That's just- that's just a given, isn't it? That man, that man has a, has a deep hatred of happy endings. Why is everybody semi-naked? Why, like, they're just wearing pants, they're not even wearing shoes. Wait. Like... And I imagine that the guy she shot is going to be the love interest, right? And her shooting him is probably going to be a recurring thing. Judging from this, at least. I'm 
trying to figure out how her hair works. Because we're seeing a lot it from a lot of angles here. It's like a bowl cut, but she has undercut sideburns. I don't know how that works. It looks like she's wearing a helmet. But like, it didn't look too weird in, like, when she's actually doing it. Does her hair change at some point? Okay, that's pretty hype. I'll take a weirdly stalkerish waifu alarm clock if I could get my bedroom redecorated at will. So this is- oh my god, this is actually just- Oh my god, this is actually like a-, a... This is a utopian, technocratic, fascist dictatorship. Oh my god. Like, even calorie intake is being- oh god. Even, like, even calorie intake is, is being managed and dispensed from a bloody replicator in the- And it's all being dressed up with cute little anime stuff to make it seem less threatening. This is 110% like what the ideal is for this sort of government. Make it look cute and harmless and act like it's in your best interest. And then... But in reality, what you're doing is you're... Wait, what? In reality, what you're doing is you're controlling every aspect of the citizenry's things. From their income, to where they can live to what they see, and even how much nutrition they get. Like, if Benito Mussolini saw this, he would just ejaculate, like, all over his big, stupid Legion of Doom headquarters. This is, this is, like, holy shit. I mean, kind of, sort of was, you refused to arrest someone that the gun was telling you to shoot. Wow, she must be, a, she must be drinking that Kool-Aid by the gallon. It's because I- it's because I'm a sociopath, like, low-grade. Oh, uh, how the fuck- I just realized! How do sociopaths work on this? How- Psychopathy- yeah, alright, that would cloud someone up real good, because- because psychopaths know they're doing wrong, but they just do it anyway. Sociopaths just don't care. They feel no guilt. They feel no remorse. They don't... They don't get stress. And if your psychopath clouds up, if you feel regret, remorse, or, reg like, regret, remorse, sadness, worry, like, any of these negative emotions... How does sociopathy work? Surely there's a... Like, surely there's- there's a system in place for sociopaths to detect that. Or do sociopaths just get to do whatever they want? Because if the, all the cops are using guns that can only shoot if someone has a- has a cloudy psychopath... Oh, that's going to be- that's going to be a thing that pops up, isn't it? Also... Also, like... Everything they just said, by the way, that's like that true believers. That's what you want. Like I, I kind of like skipped over as they were saying it, but like, yeah, no, that's basically they're just true believers on that. Just like, hey, yeah, just trust in Sybil. Sybil's good. Yo, Sybil's good. Sybil's the big good. Trust and believe. 
Cause her, her hair looks like a helmet in the thing, but like now like her sideburns are on top of her hair. Like what was going on in the opening for that? Nice. That girl clean up good. And that look says, you stepped into some shit. That look right there says, oh no, you's in trouble. Now that's not business casual. She seems really aloof about that. Wait, why is she... Is she getting... Is she getting off scot-free? Is, is she getting off scot-free on this? I mean, I wouldn't put it past the fascist dictatorship to, like, be incredibly unfair and, and accommodating to cops doing stuff they shouldn't, but still... Oh, she's a criminal as well, but she's a useful criminal, so she gets a... So she gets a... an admin position. So... Like this... Like, like, I, I, maybe I'm just like extrapolating too much, but I'm just like smelling the corruption. Like, I'm, I'm coming in here like an internal affairs person that's that's not bored, and I'm just like, it smells like corrupt in here. Lud. I do like I do like the very clear differences between people who are latent criminals and people who are Kool Aid drinkers. Like in design, like they they all dress like people who just drink the Kool Aid. They all dress conservatively. They they've got really like neat haircuts and all that. Like like just ne neat and tidy and all that. But anyone who's a latent criminal, they're either spiky, long haired, or they dress like really provocatively. Like CG fan re like. It's, it's an interesting little like visual cue to show who's 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 drinking who's drinking deep and who's not. Like you can see the difference with them right right there. Like that 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 there just encapsulates what I just said. How does typing work in Japanese? Do they just autocorrect it to the proper to the proper symbols? But he's in the hospital, though. Focusing- they're using too much of that- Using too much of that, uh... Of that touchscreen stuff. You should just go- I- I- please tell me the old man has an analog keyboard. Please tell me. Cause that'd be me in this future. Like, oh, you got a touchscreen keyboard? Nah, just break out the mechanical. Adachi? Oh no! Persona 4 is happening! Oh my god. Oh wait, no, she's a latent criminal? Oh right, yeah, she is a latent criminal. But she doesn't look like anyone else. She's all like prim and proper like the people who were drinking the Kool-Aid. Like she doesn't dress like a latent criminal. What the heck? Does she have something going on? Or did they do that specifically so people like me who look at that and go like, Hey look, a visual distinction just get kicked right in the dick. So, 
Wait, so like, his mere presence is enough to call in armed, armed policemen? Oh my god, look at this. This is... Oh my god, just make the make the police seem happy and friendly when really they're packing guns underneath. Like I look at like just looking at this just I love it so much. Certainly nobody buys it, but it's the outward facing of it that kind of like makes the gut makes them look defanged, which Makes when they pull the gun on you way more, way more big. Like, way, way more big scare. Like, look how goofy this is. But the thing is, though, it, it works. Because psychologically, people look at that and go, Oh, look at the cute mascot. But they don't realize that it's someone with a gun. That's why it's called pre-crime! Wait. Oh, it's, it's... It's absolutely terrifying, like, being on this side of the... like... Like, if, if we were on the other side of the glass. <sighs> but he was just a really, really good cop. And because he was such a good cop... He became a, he became a danger. Almost as if that's exactly what communist and fascist governments do. Second son becomes competent enough to be a threat, you immediately purge. Just ask Stalin how well that went for him, by the way. Exactly. Don't think. Don't do anything. Do nothing that will, that will endanger the state. Do nothing that, you could, that the state could be liable for. Basically how it, how it goes in this sort of thing. Like if we like if we were on the the side of the criminals in this show, this would be absolutely terrifying, and it'd be something where it's like, yeah, we're going against an oppressive government. But because we're on the side of the oppressive government from a narrative point of view, like like you recognize that it's messed up, you recognize that it is evil, but you're just like, eh, eh, it's fine. Like like we're on the correct side of the glass, so you don't see anything. Like, like that, like this is really hype, just from like a pure pers from a pure perspective point of view. Like, like you met, like seriously, just like, like it's it's really wild because like everyone, everyone here is actually pretty endearing, as well. So you kind of just like it falls to the back of your head that they're working for a, for a technocratic fascist dictatorship. Oh. Yeah, but I wanted to work for this horrible dystopia we all live under. After all, if I'm here, if I'm here putting people in cells, I'm less likely to get put into a cell. Seriously, like the the main way to survive in this sort of dictatorship is to just is just snitch, 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 and snitch until there is nobody left to snitch on. At which point, you will be snitched on, and you will be purged. Oh my god, she's having an existential crisis. A system of government that explicitly tells you what your worth, earnings, and even your food intake are is, 
and she and she has trouble figuring out what the purpose of her life is. That's just that's just absolutely perfect, isn't it? Like that's absolutely perfect. The, what are you talking about? The system says you have this talent. Wait, he's been a latent criminal since he was five. I was gonna say, like, how do you detect that in a five-year-old? But at the same time, I'm like, oh, they probably just... They probably just nab people. They probably just, like, flag people. You're like, okay, we've got a population issue. Let's just cull some people and make them latent criminals. So that way, if they die, no one gives a shit. And like, even though he is a latent criminal, he's actively being oppressed by the system. He still kind of drinks the Kool-Aid. It's like, no, stupid idiot, that's not how it works. You know what your talent is. You know what everything is. The system told you, and the system can't be wrong. So tell me the real thing. Like, that's... Oh, that's... That's a lot to unpack thematically. Let's just say that. I'm hoping it goes somewhere with this. Am I a danger to the party, comrade? So wait, what age did you get picked up? Like they just all just just slurp up that Kool Aid by the keg. Just do a keg's. Like imagine if those vials were just filled with just red. Then like I'd be like, oh no, they're just giving him a saline drip of the Kool Aid. Oh wow. Oh wow. And there's the nonsense, and there's the nonsense anime stuff. I've been following, I've been following what our society tells me to do for as long as I can remember, to the point where shooting innocent people, it's not even really a thing for me anymore. But you know what, you shooting me in the face because of your inability to control your emotions, you know, maybe I'm questioning it a little bit, maybe I could be a detective now. Like, like, oh. That's a little bit of a problem. You can't- it doesn't just break like that. It doesn't. Well, I don't think you're gonna be able to settle that if you're literally being kept on a leash by the police. And used as a guard dog to be used and thrown away when you stop being useful. That was your first mistake, you made a decision. So if... So if therapy works, then why not... Why is that not the default? Like, why is lethal force being established at all? Isn't it... Much better optics to just take everybody in alive? Like, what is the benefit? Especially with how gruesome the killing is. Or is the idea to spread fear anyway? Like... Like, that's the thought. Like, with how gruesome the Dominators are... Because, we, because like, they shouldn't have the therapy works, you can get someone back, you know, thinking the right thoughts. And even if you can't, wouldn't capturing them and killing them, like, in a place where nobody knows, be much better? Disappearing them, you know? 
Popping them like a flesh balloon seems like it would it would bring fear to the civi- to the citizenry much more than that, you know? Because if you disappear someone, it's fairly easy to just remove all trace of them. Remove trace of their work, remove trace of their family, remove trace... Like, Stalin did it. It's done in 1984. Like, every other, like, dystopian setting, including in real life, disappearing is usually the way things have gone about because there's no body to look after, you delete their records from the government, and if anyone claims they exist, well, they get disappeared too. And eventually, once enough people have disappeared, people get the message. To the point where, you know, when someone disappears, you're just like, oh, okay, then fair enough. Alright, whatever. Um, that you, you, you encourage apathy in the citizenry, which means that they do not, if you do something to them, they'll just, alright, fine. Alright, okay, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Eh. Like, like, that's, see, that's, that's the thing, it's like, which, so like, there's, so there's stuff here where it's, you're just like, but why is, but why are they doing it this way, though? Because they're doing everything else, they're doing everything else properly. They're make they're uh, putting forth the secret, well, they're basically secret police, they're basically the Gestapo. Um, they're putting forth their secret police Gestapo analog as toothless. Basically, they're like, like they're, when things aren't disguised, everything looks absolutely terrifying. You've got people in black suits rolling up with guns that make people pop like meat balloons with little, like, wheeled drones that look like something out of a Terminator film. But when they're facing the public, they turn on big mascot heads on both the cops and, and the, uh, and the drones, and the gun case that makes people pop like meat balloons turns into, like, what would it even turn into? Was it, like, was it, like, a drink cart or something? What was that? What did it turn into? Can I see it? Where it is? I'm just scrubbing through, and I'm trying to find it. Oh, and I just turned invisible. It turned invisible. So, yeah, like, invis- literally invisible guns. Like, they're doing everything, like, perfectly. And, and we show, and we've seen there that, yeah, no, so, so ther- the therapy they do works. So, what is the point of, and what, what is the point of, of doing it so, vi- to, so graphically? Like, is the point maybe to, like, occasionally just purge the citizenry by when there is someone who does reach that level? Pop them, which causes people to have fear, doubt, anger, regret, paranoia, which makes their psychopaths worse, which leads to them hitting that point? Like, I mean, that is kind of an idea. That is one theory of how to make fascism work is, well, work, in big air quotes, is to always keep the population in a state of, not terror, but in uncertainty. Let them get complacent with the, with the, with the government, with all that, like, have them, like, trust the government, rely on the government, believe that, oh, yeah, no, things can't, can go no wrong, Sybil is never wrong, Sybil tells you what you do, and you do that, and it's the way to make you happy, um, but keep the, keep something in the back of their minds that points them towards the government, make it, be it, like, uh, traitors in the midst, uh, like, some sort of enemy, which is what, like, North Korea tries to do, but, Oh boy, that's not working anymore with with uh, information coming in, is it? Oh no, um, no stuff like that. So maybe that's a way they're doing it, but it seems like there's better ways to do that. I don't know. I don't. Mm, I don't know. But like I said before, like this show is like really, really interesting, just from a pure like from a pure idea of in any other situation, these guys would be the bad guys. These are the Gestapo that just, hey, buddy, we detected you're, you're having wrong thoughts. Please come with us. Please come with us to the reprogramming room. Like, here, have a nice big, nice big cup of Kool-Aid. And, and, yeah, and in any other setting, like, we would have a rebellion. We'd have some sort of discontent. We'd have some sort of evidence of a gross misuse of power, but... Instead, no, we, not, everything, everything's working totally fine, just occasionally you just gotta pop someone. And, everybody is fine with it. Like, and, and you even go, like, it, it's even it, blatant, explicit even, where it's like, hey, 
Yesterday you ate this many calories. So hey, you know what? You you know what? Today you can only have this many calories. This is your maximum. You cannot go over this many calories. Like it's really, really interesting. It's from like a perspective of just like looking at this from knowing how this stuff worked historically. Like, um God, everything's always gonna come back to it. Like I know oh boy. Like it's it's very reminiscent of how of how Mr. Mr. Rudolf Hilter, there you go, that's how you get around the bots, uh, did his, his little thing there. So, under, under Germany in World War II, the whole idea behind it was, because it, so it wasn't pure fascism, but it was a flavor of fascism, it was derived from fascism, um, but with like, they, they mixed in like a little bit more socialism into it, so, like, the, like, that was the whole idea of it, so, like, take fascism, fascism doesn't, work inherently uh fascism has some really big holes in it because mussolini was a was a um heck, what was he he was a uh syndicalist well, he was a syndicalist uh socialist i'm pretty sure and um mr rudolph didn't quite like that all that much uh because syndicalism takes too long so what he so he take he took from mainstream f socialism and kind of mixed it in a little bit to fascism to make national socialism, which is basically where the Nazis kind of come from. There, um, so and his and ho the idea really does fit in with this, and it's kind of replaced fascism, but there is and and bear in mind there's like eighty percent the same ingredients. So like this this applies to both, but under them. Yeah, you had, like, you had the, uh, you didn't have the seizing the means of production, per se. What you had was, um, the Reichstag would come down and say, Okay, guys, so here is what you are going to pay your workers. Here is what our money is going to be worth. And here is what you are going to charge for things. And anybody caught breaking those rules, uh, well, you go bye-bye. You get actually taken over by the state and replaced by someone who is more willing to follow our plan, our social plan. And, like, that was it. Like, income was determined, like, cost of goods was determined. It, it's, it's why when people, like, say about Hitler, it's like, oh, but he made Germany's economy bounce back. Well, yeah, that's because it was a hyper-controlled economy when they were having to focus on paying their debt to, from the Treaty of Versailles. And, yeah, he did stop doing that eventually, but if you notice, once the war got tough and they couldn't just coast on their planned system, it, Germany's economy tanked immediately. Like, the second there was real stress on it, like, it's gone. Um, and, I, and like, yeah, that, and that applied to everything. Like, how much money you got, how much money you spent, where you lived, how you could live. Like, like, like there was a point where, where Hitler went, everybody in Germany gets a car. That's where Volkswagen comes from. And yeah, that wasn't just like, oh, cars are so cheap, everybody can get one. That was, no, you are going to, you are going to get a car. Because I'm going to make cars essentially mandatory. Because you need a car to do things. And so and I've made the car cheap enough that it is that within your planned within your planned income you can just get it no problem. And you're going to get it. Because if you don't, well You know, like even down to things where just like every every woman who was of German birth and of a German grandparent had to have five children. Minimum. And that was mandatory. Mandatory. But, that, but they also put in the idea of... Uh, if you have ten children, you get a special medal from the government. Does nothing, but you got that cool little cross on your mantelpiece because you pumped out ten babies. Pew, pew. Um, and that's kind of like the same idea that's happening in Psychopaths. Like, well, everything I just mentioned actually happened, and it sounds horrific, doesn't it? Sounds absolutely horrific. But the exact same thing is happening in Psychopaths, essentially, and it just kind of brushed over, like, Hey, you had this many calories yesterday. Now for breakfast, you're only allowed 240. All right, I'll have a 200 then, all right. Completely brushed over. Completely brushed over. No attention paid to it whatsoever. Like, just, it's just the norm. And... The fact that they can take something like that and just go, and just go like, yeah, no, that's just a thing that happens. Pay no attention to it. It's fine. That's like uh, that. That actually made me go like a little bit like, ooh, 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 like deep down, you know, just like, ooh, that's this is the world we live in, huh?
Oh, problems! Problems abound! Oh, no! <laughs> like, and I do, and that's something that I feel like is a big strength this year. Like, nothing, nothing really happened this episode. Like, like, really, like, they, like, we went out, we saw something, we saw something happen that was, um, kind of give us, like, a little bit more insight into, like, the late, the idea of the latent criminals, and introduced a couple more characters like that, um, like that computer woman, who turns out, hey, is a latent criminal, oh boy, um, and just, like, we just got so much more information, but nothing really happened to progress the story, just like, okay, yeah, no, here's just, here's more information about how psychopaths work, latent criminals, how we kind of, the process happens, just kind of like, boom, 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 and it, it, it's entirely to normalize that sort of, that sort of society, that sort of society that, to us, people in the in the modern Western world, and while our West, while our world is sure as hell not perfect, there, there is stuff that happens in the West that is absolutely horrific. Like, like the fact that um, essentially your health is held hostage from you. Like, essentially, you know, like that's like that's incredibly messed up. But that's normal to us. So usually, like, you don't really think about it unless someone brings it up. And it's like, hey, yeah, no, that's wrong. Um, but, like, same thing here, like, we're kind of being introduced to just the idea of, yeah, every single part of your life is controlled up to and including the way you get happiness. Because it doesn't matter what you think your happiness is, Sybil, the big old supercomputer, says that you are going to be happiest shoveling shit at an elephant enclosure. Here's your broom. Here's your shit bucket. Gloves are extra. Go on, have fun. And there will be people that get told that, and they will actually find happiness in it, because that's normal to them. That's normal to them, and even if they, like, in any other situation, they would absolutely despise that that's what they've been set there, saddled with. Because they are told non-stop that that's how they reach happiness, they will find happiness from it, simply because there is nothing else to go about. It's, it's abusing people psychologically. And, and sociologically as well. And that's just really, really good. That's, that's frigging amazing. Like, from a, just a pure, like, like, you could say, oh, that was a waste of an episode. Nothing really happened. But no, that's required to kind of get us into this mindset where, like, what's the new normal? Like, it's good. It's really good. Like, I, all right. Like, I'm hoping not every episode is that because there comes a point where you actually need to make the story go. But, hey, okay. Neato. Real neato on that one. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down there in the comments. Whether you agree with me, disagree with me, or you want to bring up something I left out, because, hey, that might have happened. Like, these kinds of, these kinds of, like, sociological structures are really deep. Like, really, like, there are so many different permutations and so many different misunderstandings of those permutations that it's ridiculous. Like, for example, People say, like, oh, fascism is, is far right, when really, no, it's actually a lot closer to socialism. Actually, the further right you get, the more anarchic you get. Which is weird, because a lot of people associate anarchism with the far left. Figure that one out. Figure that one out. You have, but, but that's entirely because of subsets, where you have um, anarcho-communism, for example. Where anarcho-communism is, it's still left-wing, and it's still communism, but it is communism... Where it's like, there is not a single person in charge. Nobody's in charge, ever. Whereas normal communism is just, there's just one big massive government that kind of just... Is essentially like, it's technically run by the, by the uh, citizenry, but... Really, it's just everything is really controlled and just kind of going from there. I mean, and at the same time you have on the other side, you have... You, you have right-wing authoritarianism, which is not fascism, it's it's something else, but it's never actually been, as far as I'm aware, actually, no, Pinochet, Pinochet, that's, that's Pinochet, never mind, um, but yeah, you know what I mean, like, you, you have these permutations of these ideas that fall on either, on either side of the spectrum, and they, and they create misunderstandings, because things get mixed up with other things, like, for example, there is a difference between a liberal and liberalist, and then, then there's also a difference between a liberalist and a, and a libertarian. And what's worse is that liber liberalist is also getting fucked up because it's been co-opted by Sargon of Akkad. Like, I like Sargon, but Sargon, you couldn't have come up with something better that wasn't something that John Locke already came up with? 
like, come on now. You know, like, you, you have all these different permutations. It's really fun. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting historically, historically engaged. I'm sorry, it's, it's fun. Um, yeah, let me know what you think down there in the comments. And if you know about any of, uh, any of this sociological stuff, uh, then hey, let, let me know what you th think down there. Because, I mean, I can't, I mean, like, this is really good. And, like, nobody who what like, not, oh, God. Like, people who watch this have to be, like, I feel like there has to be some sort of, like, tuning into this kind of stuff. Like, even if you don't know the terms, if you don't know the history, you, like, there has to be people who, like, just tune into this and go, like, ooh, ooh, there's things. Like, and, and I want to know what people think. I want to know what people think, because my, per my perception could be wrong. It could be wrong. Because, like, I'm going off of, like, what I know based on the time periods that I know the most. And if, if people know other, know other time periods and other, like, governments and hey that's another opinion that's another perspective and that's new perspectives are always good anyway yeah so do all that remember to like comment subscribe share with me to tell your friends if you want to support channel monetarily you can also do so on patreon uh which is linked down there in the description and linked right next to it should be my uh open discord server that anyone can join but on that server there is a special patrons only discord channel where you can recommend things to be let's played reacted to uh live streamed whatever like this was a patron request actually and thank you for that, uh, Brian. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, just big fun. Also, we got our special pages on the movie night. It's, oh, boy, I, I move, I'm ideally moving this month, so it's kind of messing up my schedule. So, like, right now, the idea is it goes out, that is happening next Friday or Saturday. That's the hope. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. We usually uh, we watch anime, uh, some movies play some video games, just kind of have fun. Um, it's been kind of, like, up in the air, like, kind of, like, happening at just, like, weird times the last two months because I've been getting ready for that move, and things have been going good and bad, but, yeah, still, a lot of fun. Just looking forward to it. It's going to be the highlight of my month. Anyway, as always, I am Nozovix, and I'll see you in the next video. But most of all, you will become a trash mammal today, and I will see you around. Uh...